Hey, tech enthusiasts, welcome back to the channel. Today, we're diving into the future with Intel's incredible 14th gen CPUs. But before we get started, make sure to hit that like button and subscribe for more PC tips and tech news. Let's dive in. Release date. I'd like to provide you with an update on upcoming product releases. Intel has rescheduled its Innovation Day 2023 to take place on September 19th. During this event, the company intends to unveil six new Raptor Lake refreshed desktop CPUs and a range of high-performance laptop processors, as revealed by the latest leaks. The 14th generation desktop processors are slated for release on October 17th, with reviews being permitted to go live on the same day. Additionally, during the Innovation Day 2023 keynote, Intel officially confirmed the launch date for the new 14th generation laptop processors, which are based on the Meteor Lake architecture and are set to debut on December 14th. Desktop Processors Let's delve into the specifications of the 14th generation desktop processors. Intel is set to introduce six new models, including the i9-14900K and the KF variants, i7-14700K and KF, as well as i5-14600K and KF. For those unfamiliar, KF models share identical specifications with their K counterparts, except for the absence of integrated graphics. The i9-14900K and its KF counterpart boast 8 performance cores and 16 efficiency cores, totaling 24 cores and 32 threads, mirroring the core count of their predecessor, the i9-13900K. However, the new i9 features an increased core clock boost of 6 GHz, a 200 MHz improvement over its predecessor's clock speed of 5.8 GHz. Cache capacity remains at 36 MB, and the thermal design power remains steady at 125 watts. On the other hand, the i7-14700K and KF processors are the only ones to receive a substantial specification upgrade. They offer 8 performance cores and 12 efficiency cores, totaling 20 cores and 28 threads, which is a notable improvement over the i7-13700K, with an additional 4 efficiency cores. This enhancement translates into significantly improved multi-threading performance. The new i7 also features an enhanced core clock boost of 5.6 GHz and comes with 33 megabytes of cache and a 125 watt TDP. If Intel prices it competitively, this processor has the potential to become the best value CPU of the year. As for the i5-14600K and KF, they maintain the same configuration as the i5-13600K, with 6 performance cores and 8 efficiency cores, amounting to 14 cores and 20 threads, along with 24 megabytes of cache and a 125 watt TDP. Notably, the 14600K features a core clock boost of 5.3 GHz, a 200 MHz improvement over its predecessor's clock speed of 5.1 GHz. This puts the new i5 ahead of the two-year-old old flagship i912900K, which has a 5.2 GHz core clock boost. Performance Now, I'll provide you with insights into the expected performance of these CPUs. Please bear in mind that these performance numbers are based on leaks and engineering sample tests, and the actual performance may differ from what you'll find in independent reviews on October 17th. Nonetheless, this information should offer a general idea of where the 14th generation desktop processors are likely to rank on benchmark charts. For gamers, anticipate a modest improvement in the 14th generation SKUs, ranging from 3 to 5% better when compared to the 13th generation. This increase is relatively small, so if you already possess a 12th or 13th generation processor, skipping the 14th generation may be the prudent choice, as the improvements may not justify the expense. However, what deserves your attention is the upcoming i7-14700K, which showcases significantly stronger multi-core performance compared to the i7-13700K, thanks to the additional efficiency cores. According to leaked MSI slides, the 14700K is estimated to be approximately 17% faster on average. This enhanced performance will be particularly beneficial for those who work with applications that can effectively utilize multiple cores to expedite tasks. Nevertheless, the final verdict on its value will hinge on the pricing details. Laptop Processors According to recent leaks, Intel is planning to introduce a minimum of four processors as part of their 14th generation family. These processors include 
The Core Ultra 5 125H, which features four primary cores and eight additional E-cores, resulting in a total of 12 cores and 16 threads. It boasts a core clock boost of 4.5 GHz. The Core Ultra 7 155H, equipped with six primary cores and 80 cores, offering a total of 14 cores and 20 threads. It comes with a core clock boost of 4.8 GHz. The Core Ultra 7 165H, maintaining the same core count as the 155H but with a higher core clock boost of 5 GHz. Finally, the Core Ultra 9 185H, which shares the same core count as the Core Ultra 7 processors but features the highest core clock boost among them, reaching 5.1 GHz. It's worth noting that the top configuration with 8 primary cores and 80 cores, often referred to as 8 plus 8 core Mediella, appears to have been cancelled. Even the high-end Core Ultra 9 processors offer only a 6 plus 8 core configuration. Consequently, there seems to be no prospect for a powerful Meteor Lake-based desktop processor, with the previously anticipated configuration. Performance Now, let's dive into the performance evaluation of the new Intel laptop CPUs. Fortunately, we have access to several Geekbench 6 benchmark results for the Core Ultra 5 and Ultra 7 processors that we can analyze. This will provide us with a general understanding of where the new 14th generation CPUs are expected to stand in terms of performance when compared to currently available laptop processors from both Intel and AMD. To the best of my knowledge, the Core Ultra 7 appears to be positioned to compete with processors like the Ryzen 7 7840HS. Impressively, it closely matches the single-core performance of the Ryzen 7 7840HS. On the other hand, the Core Ultra 5 managed to achieve a performance level similar to the Intel Core i5-13500H in these tests, which isn't a favorable outcome considering that the Ultra 5 is a direct successor to the i5. However, in multi-core tests, the Core Ultra 5 outperforms the i7-13700H, despite having two fewer cores. The Core Ultra 7 processors delivered performance on par with the Intel Core i9-13900H and the Ryzen 9 7940HS. It's important to note that these tests were likely conducted using qualification samples of the Meteor-like processes, not the final retail products. Furthermore, we lack information about the power and cooling conditions employed for these tests. Regardless, it's not anticipated that these CPUs will exhibit significantly better performance than what we've observed here when they are officially released in laptops in December. At best, we can expect the finished products to offer around a 5% improvement, with the Core Ultra 9 potentially providing another 5% boost on top of that. Thank you for joining us on this exciting journey into the future Intel's 14th generation CPUs. If you found this video informative and want to stay updated on the latest tech trends, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and give us a thumbs up. Stay tuned for more exciting content ahead. Until next time, tech enthusiasts.